your book, you talk about how President Wilson went to, went to Europe and talked about self-determination for the Arabs, and very religious man. Now we have President Bush, who, as you made clear in your speech, is an exceedingly religious man. Do you think that he will succeed? Do you think he, this has become too much of a clash between civilizations, if you will? And you talk about that in your book. For democracy to sprout, to grow, to no, blossom? No, I, 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 I don't think democracy will survive in, um, in the Arab world until it becomes a kind of indigenous democracy, one that is identified with their values and not with ours. As long as it's an import, it operates under such a disadvantage, under such a burden, a, a historical burden, uh, that I think that um, uh, the chances of its surviving are, are, are not very great. On the other hand, the Arabs have really not had a chance to develop their own institutions. They have only been free uh, of the Ottomans since, um, uh, since World War I, after which the British and the French came over and ruled them. And then they became uh, independent states after World War II, and, 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 and they, they, had, they had a lot of problems. They realized that they needed a period of some tranquility to develop institutions of their own but what happened is that we came in and told them they had to take sides in the Cold War. So this became, uh, so the, the Cold War then took over the Middle East. And of course, there is always the, um, the conflict with Israel. And that's been a distraction. Sometimes it's been a false distraction in the sense that it has kept them from having to make the essential decisions among themselves. But they have not lived with the kind of, of um, of um, framework in which they make these decisions, and the decisions they know they have to make for themselves, want to make for themselves, um, they have not had the opportunity to do that without a hovering foreign presence, namely us. Um, and that's where it is now. <laughs>